The drought that's hitting the southwest and other parts of the country is nature at work. But scientists at Columbia University's Biosphere 2 Center, located outside of Tucson, Arizona, recently created a drought of their own and in the unlikeliest of places. Inside Biosphere 2's rainforest, a tropical habitat one acre in size that in most respects is comparable to the Amazon rainforest, lead researcher Dr. Guanhui Lin of Columbia University and doctors Dania Kier of the Weizmann Institute of Science in Rehovot, Israel, and Joseph Berry of Stanford's Carnegie Institution are investigating the effect of a significant decrease in precipitation on carbon storage and release by the plants. Nearly half of the world's undisturbed evergreen forest and about 10% of the planet's terrestrial primary productivity and carbon storage are located in South America's Amazon basin. The experiment begins with heavy rains. Then the mini ecosystem is allowed to dry out for at least 28 days with no further precipitation. Recent studies suggest that these ecosystems are important carbon sinks. Scientists have also documented that tropical land ecosystems experience annual changes in climate, the result of El Nino episodes, which bring hot, dry weather to much of the region. During El Nino, the ecosystems act as a source of carbon to the atmosphere, and in other years, these ecosystems act as a carbon sink. Understanding the response to such climate variations is important to climate change scientists. We're interested in uh, carbon and oxygen cycling in ecosystems around the world and we're developing some new methodologies that use stable isotopes and we need to test some of the basic hypotheses. The only way of predicting the impact of such episodes on rainforests is by creating complicated mathematical equations that simulate basic biological processes using a computer model. Determining the model's accuracy is critical, but difficult in the real world where controls are absent. We use here as a tool to predict what's going to happen in a real rainforest rather than wait another 20 years or 50 to see the consequence of the climate change. The Biosphere 2 rainforest provides both the control capability and a representative plant community that can be exposed to conditions similar to El Nino years. By conducting experiments in this unique facility, scientists are now able to validate their theoretical models.